All right. So you see this super cute picture and you're like, oh my God, I need to get a pet fox. How do I get a pet fox? Well, first of all, you should really be asking yourself, should I get a pet fox? Let's be real here. They're super adorable. They're fuzzy. They're so wonderful in the pictures, but there's a lot about them that you should really know and think about before you go out and buy one. One of those things is they get into everything. I mean, why else would I cover my fireplace with cement blocks? They're not exactly the pinnacle of interior design, but if I don't put them there, she's gonna go play in the fireplace and get disgusting and not be a white fox and need another bath. Basically, everywhere that you don't want your fox to be is exactly where your fox wants to be. Like a pile of wires, which we covered with a super trendy trifold board. Basically, if you're a materialistic person and all your cool clothes and shoes and furniture and all those kind of things matter to you, Pet Fox is probably not the best idea. I mean, they're gonna get to it. They're gonna eat it, they're gonna dig on it, they're gonna poop on it, and you can do what you can to mitigate the damage, but something is going to get ruined, and you just have to accept it. And then there's potty training. You can try. And some people have good success with it, and Ryla is doing a really good job with it. I consider myself really lucky, and even though she poops a lot, most of the time it's in the box, and I'm really thankful for that. She has accents outside the box here and there, and some people can never get their foxes 100% litter box trained, and that's just something you're going to have to accept. They may just always have accidents the box. Another really important thing is training. You should train a fox just like you should train any animal that is going to live in your home. I guess cats don't really need training. Can you train a cat? I mean, well anyways. So they should learn not to play too rough. They should learn to wait for their meals. They should learn basic obedience. These are things that I'm going to teach Riley or have started teaching Riley. But I think every pet fox owner should teach some basic obedience. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry that it was short, but I'm going to be making more videos. Um, I'll go into more detail about different subjects that were either mentioned in this video or ones I haven't mentioned yet. And hopefully I'm less awkward in my next video. Hope you liked it and please subscribe. Thanks.